Oh, trip and fall. So this right here, if you have medical training to rescue a rider, this is not a rider. Oh, he looks drunk. Or a brain injury. You don't have to rescue riders. You can rescue anybody with any type of traumatic training or traumatic training, traumatic injuries. Oh. Hey, no, 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 come on. One sec, I need to do an assessment right now. You got any metal conditions, sir? Can you get to your knees? He's got metal condi- look at his arm. So he's got bandage, so... No, 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 come on. Okay, go slow. Put, it, put your leg out. Put your leg out. His hair looks wet. What do you think, uh, Scarlet, are you here? Yeah, call 911. His hair is wet, so he's probably diaphoretic. Okay, turn around. So possibly diabetes, probably low blood sugar. Go ahead and sit down. Okay. People that have low blood sugar, they sweat. Literally like they just got out of the shower. This guy knows what he's doing. He's got BDUs and everything. There it is. All right, we're gonna get your blood pressure and uh, my vehicle right here. Check you out. Right. I thought your brother was gonna get you on a. I heard 106. He's a frequent flyer. That was, that was a frequent flyer. All right, so possible alcohol. All right, so let me go ahead and go over some of this stuff so you can you can kind of understand what where I'm coming from with this. I'm always going to assume that somebody that's on the ground having difficulty like this, it's going to be something no fault to their own. I'm going to think it might be a diabetic episode, a heart attack, stroke, seizure. I'm always going to go down that route. Now, once you start getting the history, you're going to start to really realize, oh, it's probably a medication issue. It's probably a drinking issue. It's probably a narcotic issue. It's probably something else, maybe environmental, probably dehydrated. You start going down that process after you get more information. I don't like to assume too much because then it can kind of trap you, but I always give people the benefit of the doubt. I, I don't like telling people that there's gonna be, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, it's always alcohol. It's, it's not usually it, but that right there, that's that right there looks like it's a diabetic issue, possibly seizure stroke that happened right there. If he stayed there, probably heart attack. Just boop, dropped right there, heart attack, or a sniper shot in the corner over there on the grassy knoll. But the thing is, uh, it kind of looked like diabetes to me because he's, he's a little, he's a little out of it. He can't stand up, loss of control. This is what I like about this rider. He stopped to help and so does she. That's very, very nice. So right here though, you're, when any drunk, like really, and I say drunk in the most nice way, an alcoholic or, or or somebody that is highly intoxicated, there we go, highly intoxicated or has diabetes with low blood sugar, that is a terrible position because guess what? They're probably going to fall down. You okay, sir? Leaning forward, leaning forward. That's why I don't let people with traumatic brain injuries, typically from a trauma incident, like a motorcycle crash, stand up. This right here, let's go ahead and play around with this. Let's make this, let's make this a motorcycle rider. Okay, this motorcycle rider just crashed. Let's remove the alcohol. I'll explain a lot of that stuff later. Motorcycle rider just crashed, wants to get up and wants to go. That's where we're going with this. Okay, so your buddy just crashed. He's trying to get up. He's trying to get back to his bike. Is my bike okay? Is my bike okay? And he starts doing this. That right there is why I don't let them stand up because now he could have a fractured wrist, a fractured arm instead of just the traumatic brain injury. Oh God, I'm okay. Hey, no, 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 come on. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. What's wrong? You got any metal conditions, sir? Uh -huh. Can you get to your yeah, knees? I'm good. So they're gonna keep telling you they're good, they're good, I'm good, I'm good, even with the brain injury. Don't, don't accept that. You just saw this dude fall down, he's not good. No, 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 come on. Okay, go slow. Put, it, put your leg out. Okay. Put your leg out. If you're having to do this with a buddy that just got into a crash, you're like, hey, put your leg up. Hey, I'm going to help you walk and stand. Should they get on the motorcycle? No. At this point, if you see anything like this, anything like this, I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? But you'd be surprised. A lot of friends don't want to tell their friend or family member what to do. So they'll let them just get on the bike or they'll let them get behind a car. It's like, I don't want to tell them no. I don't want to piss them off. It doesn't matter. If this person got into a car or on a motorcycle, they can kill themselves or kill somebody else. 
at the end of the day, you're trying to save somebody else's life, not just theirs. And you probably are saving their life if you don't let them get back on the bike. Can you stand up? Yeah. No, you're not okay. Call 911. Yeah, call 911. So he just told her, call 911. And that's what you should do. You're helping him. You're in the situation. You're doing what you need to do. Hey, call 911. We're going to sit right here. Look at the signs. You know, we're on the corner of first and third. No, you're not okay. You're sitting on, down sir. and you're waiting. Okay, turn around. So what I was mentioning about his hair okay. Go ahead and sit down. Is, is somebody with... And it's probably just combed and thin and everything, but somebody that has diabe uh, diabetes, uh, that is going into a diabetic coma, or they have really low blood sugar, they're basically the body shunts all the blood from the skin to the core, and what's happening there is now your skin can't regulate the sweat glands, so you're literally just dumping all the sweat you have, and it's literally like I keep saying literally because it is. It's literally like getting out of a shower without a towel. Like, you're soaked. Like, soaked and slippery. It's just crazy. And they don't recognize it, but you do. So those, that's one sign and symptom that we, we look for. It's not always the case, but it happens a lot. Yeah. So I, I feel like this person can take command pretty well. And that's really what it is. It's in a command system out here with firefighting and, and EMS. I think he can take command pretty well because he's in the military. So he's level-headed and he's separating himself from the situation. That's what I really want you guys to do when it comes to helping out a friend or somebody else out on the road is that don't think to yourself, oh, this is my best bud. No, you need to think, hey, he's hurt. We're not friends right now. I'm taking care of you. Detach yourself from that situation. Go through the process of what you need to do. Make sure they don't get back on the bike. Check for bleeding. Check for airway. Check for all those things. You know, make sure that what's happening doesn't get worse. And if you just if you sit there and you're like, "This is my friend. This is my friend. This is my friend. This is my friend," you're never gonna help them. You're 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 in it. You're you didn't detach anything. You're you're not paying attention to what's needed. You're paying attention to what you don't want to happen. Yeah, I need an ambulance. Uh, fire truck. Please, sir. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. So typically alcoholics or any or even anybody with a confusion, I keep seeing alcoholics, anybody that's highly intoxicated or that has this confusion, they're gonna say, No, I can go, I can go, let me go, I can go. And that's where typically people are gonna be like, oh, okay, go ahead and go. I don't wanna I don't wanna kidnap you, I don't wanna do anything. The typical good Samaritan laws will help you out here. Okay, so you're gonna be in a position to where you can defend yourself and say, I didn't feel that he was uh safe to leave. I didn't feel he was gonna be I, th I felt like he was going to be a harm to himself or others if he took off and got on, a, on the bike or, or whatever it is. So when, the, when, the, when police and fire show up, you're going to hear, you're going to hear the, whoa, you're going to hear the captain or the paramedic say, hey, you remember you? I thought you were going to get some, I thought you were going to get some help. All right, we're going to get your blood pressure and uh, check you out. Right here. I thought your brother was going to get you on a, into a program. I thought your brother was going to get you into a program. So this is a frequent flyer. This is somebody that this engine company has gone on many times before. So this is either going to be uh, a narcotics issue or it's going to be uh, an intoxication from alcohol issue. Probably alcohol because he did. somebody in the chat mentioned a bottle and possibly the bag. He's like, I am. You remember me? We've, we've gone on many of this, the same people over and over and over again. You have to realize that this is probably the, you know, C crew. Let's say they're C crew. So there's A, B, and C crew. So if they've been on them multiple times, the crew before you has been on them multiple times, and the crew before that has been on them multiple times. So this guy's probably been, he's probably seen like three or four times a month, easily, once a week, easily, maybe like four times in a night. So uh, it's pretty stressful for everybody, but the main concern here is to not, let somebody that is in this position, let's get back to that, stumbling around in this position to uh, get back on a motorcycle or in a car. Okay, now, this look could be from a traumatic brain injury, could be alcohol, like we, probably it is, narcotics, could be diabetes, all these different things. But gotta be careful.